what's happening everybody welcome back to the channel uh this is going to be a mix match video uh mix match uh it's 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 all hot wheels which is a definite bonus uh we are saturday so um last night which was friday night i had the uh the monthly meet and uh I was really, really stoked at this monthly meet because I did manage to pick up a ton of stuff. I picked up some really, really cool things that uh, I'm very, very proud to add to my collection. And on top of that, uh, today being Saturday, this morning, I went to a yearly meet. Okay? Uh, happens every year, and it's it's a bigger exposition. Um, and I found a ton of stuff there as well. Now, I probably went a little bit overboard. Uh, as I say, I did buy a lot of things. And I bought some strange stuff. And uh, I bought a lot of stuff that I just... I don't have a lot of in the collection. Okay? And uh, it's very, very cool that um, some of these premiums that I found... Uh, I just I, I didn't I didn't even know existed to be honest with you. Um, anyways, we're, we're gonna go through the things that I have, and uh, we're gonna see exactly what I got. And uh, yeah, I'm telling you, I'm very very excited about uh, my two big pickups at the uh, monthly meet and the yearly meet. So I think without further ado, we'll go through the stock that I found. And then we'll open up everything, like I usually do. Uh, including these guys here, which I'm a little bit worried about because they're, they are rubber banded. Or not really rubber banded, but these these bands that are holding them in does worry me a little bit. More on this vet because I see that it's kind of fading into the green here. This one is kind of falling apart, so I'm not too worried about that one. Uh, but anyway, you'll see and I'll see as we open these all right so we'll start off with the two that are sitting directly in front of the camera starting off with the one to the left which is the shelby series one now this is definitely a casting i do not have in my collection yet or at least i don't have in premium it might be let me just check over to my shelby collection no actually it is a casting i do not have at all in my collection so very very stoked about this love adding these brand new castings to co to the collection guys this vet here i'm kind of hoping she's sitting on real riders i believe it is okay very excited about this one as well uh in premium i got a i've got two versions one being an old treasure hunt and the other one being a 1980s real rider this one here actually has the opening hood and being 100% Hot Wheels is uh, exactly scaled to 164 and looks pretty special. I, I think this one looks pretty awesome. Very, very clean version and I'm very, very stoked about adding this one to the collection as well. All right, let's move on to some special cars. Well, we'll keep up with the Corvette since we're there. Got this guy here from another 100% 100, uh, 100 Hot Wheels lineup. This casting also is a brand new casting to me. I don't have in my collection. I've got a few versions of this tuned up vet, but I don't have any with this spoiler. Okay, so this, uh, this actual casting itself, I don't have in my collection at all. It does look a little bit like the... The other uh, vet uh, jacked up like this, but it's not. This casting is completely different. The front is different. Windows are different. And it has the back headrest spoiler, which is very cool. So this is another casting that I do not have in the collection, which I am adding, which is very, very cool. Uh, next to that, we have, well, we got this guy here. Hot Wheels Fright Cars. Okay, 57 Plymouth Fury. This one is sitting on real riders. Very, very cool. 
Looks like it was probably a pretty awesome set, this one. Okay, I had some... Uh, well, I mean, besides the uh, Thunderbird, which actually I would need to find, actually, because that is a casting, a casting I collect. The other ones I'm not really that interested in, but it is sitting on Real Riders, which is very, very cool. Halloween Fury. Almost a Christine vibe to it. So, pretty awesome. Very stoked about that. We've got the Rockford Files. Yeah. Another hot bird to the collection. Very cool. We'll uh, sit up well, pretty nicely with the old 2007 Super Treasure Hunt. But this one is different. The, the gold color is different. And actually looks like it has an opening hood as well on this one. So pretty stoked about getting this guy opened up to take a look at it. Next, obviously if you guys know my channel, picked up this Viper. Also a casting I collect, ugly as ever. Very but ugly car. But do love the Viper casting and very, very stoked about adding this guy. Don't have it in my collection, uh, this one. Uh, what is it? Uh, it's, well, Auto Milestones, yeah, but is that what it says on the side? I believe it says Milestones 2002. Very, very cool. Love this series, Auto Milestones and... Um, Hall of Fame. I love those series. Uh, so anytime I find something I need from there, very excited about getting those. Uh, next, I've bought an old RLC, to be honest with you. A Diora 2. Just love the color of this. It stood out and screamed at me to buy. So I definitely could not resist on grabbing this one. Okay. This is the old RLC cards. This is from 2001. It is number 9,094 on 10,000. So it's pretty cool. But it doesn't matter. We're going to open it anyway. So another. Now this car here. This 84 Corvette, guys. I do have it in silver. Two different versions of it in silver. And uh, I've seen. I just. I've never seen the red version. So when I saw this one today, I said, oh, I've got to get this added to the collection. Just looking at my Corvettes, guys, because I just want to make sure that it is two silver versions I have. Yeah. Yeah, the two versions I have are two silver versions. I believe one of them was a, was a performance parts uh, from this series. And the other one, I think, was a retro entertainment version. I believe a James Bond or something like that. But this one looks really cool. And uh, glad to get a different uh, color of this uh, car. So, very happy about that. Did find a couple of drag strip demons that I was missing. Very, very happy about that. We have the 65 Dodge Coronet AWB stacked deck. Very, very cool. Been looking for this car. And another one that I was just extremely lucky to find was this guy here, the 63 Nova AWB Snake Eyes. Very, very cool. I've been looking for this casting as well. Very tough one to find. So, happy about that. Then, we've got some more premium even. If that wasn't enough, I got my hands on this 1970 Ford Torino from the Boulevard series. Beautiful, beautiful color on this car. A matte blue. And those rims just look amazing on here. So very, very stoked about this casting. Love the Ford Torino. We've got a 67 Pontiac Firebird from the Boulevard series as well. Very, very cool. Trying to get this series complete. Taking a little while, obviously. Then we got this guy, 1965 Volkswagen Fastback, my second color of this. The first one I have is a Moon Eyes version, which is right here. I don't know if you guys can see it on camera, but it is right there. And now we've got this gorgeous blacked out version. 
Very, very stoked about this. Very cool car. And last, but not least, on the premium carded, we have this gorgeous 63 Plymouth Belvedere 426 Max Wedge in red. Very, very cool looking car. Couldn't pass this one up. Metal base, metal body. Just looks awesome. And let me see what else. Well, I got a mail away that I was looking for. I had this loose. So I did grab that. Very, very cool. I think that actually finishes all those mail aways for me. Got this guy, Skyline, that I've been missing in my collection. Very, very awesome as well in this beautiful blue. We're going to open that up. Got this guy here, old red line. Very, very cool. That actually completes my red lines of, the, uh, of this Oldsmobile. We have the fire chief, the police chief, and uh, now the military. So very, very stoked about that. Adding this guy. Then main lines. Got some main lines. Very, very awesome. Got this double pack. Obviously, I bought it. If you know me, I got it for this 67 Camaro. Love the 67 Camaro. Do not have this one. So, very, very happy to have seen that. Didn't even know this one existed. This is from 2002. So, there's still got to be a lot of Camaros out there that I don't know exist. So, I've got a lot of hunting to do, I believe. Found this guy. Which is another very, very cool casting that I collect. Fox Body Mustang, we all know, from the 2010. And this one in awesome blue. Just looks amazing, this car. Really, really looks amazing. Got that. We have 1990 Honda Civic EF. This version I did not have either. Very cool. Got Kroger exclusive on the Hot Wheels drag strip Honda Civic Custom. Very cool. Kroger exclusive on the Porsche 911 GT3 in white. And last but not least, two more cars. We've got the 4th of July 81 Camaro. Very, very nice. In white. And the last one I got. Is the 73 Pontiac Firebird. From the series 70's. Sitting on black walls. So. As you can see. I found quite a bit of stuff. At the two meets. That I was at yesterday and today. So with that being said. I say we turn up that trusty turntable. And I say we crack open all these bad boys and take a close look at these. All right, let's get into it. Okay, everybody, we're going to start off with these 100% Hot Wheels because I really want to get these rubber bands off them, uh, see what kind of damage I got on them. So here's the box. Okay, and this is uh, collector number 28 from the 2003 series. And it is the Shelby Series 1. All right. Let's get this bad boy opened up. 2003, that's 20, uh, 20 years ago. Almost 21 years ago. It's uh, some age on this guy. And he's finally getting out of his prison after 21 years. Poor little guy, he's been in there too long. Okay, there we go, uh, screwed in of course, let's get this, get this off, there we go, and let's get this rubber band, uh, oh that's pretty, pretty crispy, that's pretty crispy, I must say. Oh, not looking good. Looks like she's stuck to the paint. 
That's not looking good at all, guys. Okay, hold on. I'm going to take it off its base. That looks like she's going to be stuck to the paint. So, got to pray that the mother's wax and polish will get that out, hopefully. The only problem with these 100% lines is the fact that these bands that they used really, really eat away the paint. And that is a complete shame and disaster. So we're going to go from here first. Wow, it just comes right off. That's a good thing on the base, but yeah, it's stuck under the tires there. That might be a little bit harder to get to. And it's stuck here. Yeah, yuck, 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 yuck. It's stuck on that paint. Shit. Oh, well, it didn't take off the paint, though. So then the wax, the canoe wax from Mother's is definitely going to take this off. That is a very big relief, guys. Honestly, we don't have... Okay, that is just perfect. Like I said, we don't have the band mark on the paint, which is a definite, definite plus. The bands didn't take off any paint, which is definite plus as well. But it does have to be waxed pretty good. Yeah, that band, uh, that band is in there pretty good. I'm going to keep spinning it. Sorry, guys. I just want to clean it up the best I can. Let me see here. What can we use? This, this should work. This should work. Just to get this out of the wheel well. Because that's pretty annoying. Hopefully, it comes out pretty good. Yeah, it's not going to be easy. Definitely not going to be easy. Okay. Wow, there's even on this side too. You see that band was all broken on that side. And here. Yeah, this is going to need a big cleaning, guys. You see that, how the band sticks in here? Yeah. Okay. What are you going to do? I'm going to have to clean it up because the wheels won't turn. But anyway, here it is. This is the Shelby Concept 1 and looks amazing. Very, very cool car, this one. Great look to it. And I said, as I said, it is the only edition that I have in my collection. What's very cool about this guy here is it's got quite, quite good an interior detail. As a metal base, rubber tires, which is a definite bonus. As uh, plastic uh, rubber bands that stick all over it, which is definitely not a bonus. But anyway, okay. I think we have an opening hood. I think, yeah, has the opening hood feature. Very cool, but it's not painted. It's just part of the interior. But still pretty cool that it opens up like that. Love the mag choice. Definitely period correct. We've got rear tail lights, front headlights. I mean, the car is done really, really super nice. And that's what it is with the 100% Hot Wheels lineup. They, they do an excellent job on their cars. Now I'm going to have to clean this guy up really, really nicely and post some pictures on Instagram of this one. So... If you follow me on Instagram, you will see some better pictures of this car all cleaned up. But definitely an awesome looking little car. Okay, now for the one that worried me even worse, which is not a good thing, is this Corvette. Because of that green color and the way the bands look already, it looks like they're dug in that paint pretty good. But you never know. You never know until you get these guys open. Don't 
Come on. I don't want to come out. There we go. And here we go again. Okay, here we are. Yeah, those bands. Oh boy. We gotta pray that they don't. Anyway, let's let's uh let's get it out. At least the screws are torqued in. Sometimes these screws are torqued in so bad I've had I've found that some that I've actually had to cut around here and then cut the post. I mean it's just Sometimes they're torqued in so hard, it's incredible. It's like you're fighting a war just to get these things open. There we are. Okay, this rubber band time. See how fragile this one is. Okay, it's not that... F Whoa, wait a second. There's still... Oh, I think we're lucky. Yes, we might be very lucky, guys. These are still fresh enough that they don't even break. Wow, okay. This is a bonus. Yes, yes, yes. Very, very lucky with that band. Wow. Okay, so here we are. Very nice detail on the base. Metal base, of course, rubber tires. Love the skinnies in the front, fat in the back. Beautiful, beautiful. Okay, that's not so beautiful. We have a nice, beautiful green color, but we're going to need the mother's polish up here. You can see the band marks on the black. There you are. Okay, you can see them here. Will it come out? Let me just try a little water first. See if the polish actually will make a big difference. Yeah, the mother's polish will definitely make a big deal. You know what, guys? I'm going to show you. I'll show you what the mother's polish does, okay? There's the band marks. Let me pause you guys. Okay. Anyway, doesn't work, guys. Usually the mother's uh, polish works on all paints, but the problem with the black lines on, uh, on this Corvette is the fact that they're not painted. They're probably uh, decals, okay? So, it didn't come out very well at all. It's still got the black marks. And, yeah, nothing I can do with that. Since this is a decal, it'll take the decal off completely. But it still shines a hell out of the uh, the car itself, you see that? Anytime you have scratches in the uh, the paint... Mother's is the best, guys, okay? But when it comes to decals, Mother's doesn't do anything good. So don't even bother. So that's a total waste. But you expect that when it comes to rubber bands. It's a hit and miss. And uh, still doesn't change my opinion on this car. This car is drop-dead beautiful. And 100% uh, line is still a great line. But like I said, you got to worry. But there are black metal paints that you can touch that up and uh i'm gonna go pick up some and uh i will touch it up and the car will be beautiful again no big deal so don't don't uh not say oh, i'm not gonna pick up any hundred percent hot wheels because of that no guys don't let it bother you you can always fix cars defects they're not as difficult as uh, they seem the next one Let's crack open this hot bird from the Rockford Files guy. Don't know how many of you guys remember the Rockford Files. I definitely do. And this is a definite 2012 release. And I'll tell you, 2012 was an awesome year for retro entertainment. Okay, loved these packages. Loved when they did these movie strips. And they came out with so many cool cars in the uh, 2012 lineup. It's too bad I was uh, sleeping on that. 
And I wasn't hunting as much in 2012. I'd stopped, I believe, from... Actually, I stopped from 2011 till about uh, 2015. I'd stopped collecting. I was paying too much attention to the kids and no attention to Hot Wheels, which is a good thing, I guess. But the thing is that I had to go back and pick them all up. And what this one is really, really cool. Love the paint on this. Really cool gold metal flake. But the silver trim around the windows, uh, that, that's a uh, really extra added touch, which is really cool. Big, huge wheels on it. Deep dish in the back. Even deep dish in the front, actually. Gold interior. Beautiful metal base. Painted headlights, painted taillights. And do we have, is that an opening hood? It is an opening hood. Yeah. That is something else. That doesn't want to open up too much, but I will show it to you. Very cool. And there she is. Another hopper to the collection, guys. Very cool metal flake to this. Okay, next. I got a ton of cars to go through. We're gonna go have to go a little faster. We're already 26 minutes in the video. And we haven't opened much. So let's get cracking. Freight cars, Hot Wheels, 57 Plymouth Fury. This was released in 2007, so probably 2008. Love this casting. Love anything that has a racing livery. And the Halloween is just an added touch. And this has a very, very cool crimson red metallic flake as well. This one is sitting on a plastic base though. But we do have the rubber tires. Real Christine look to it. Very cool casting though. With the skulls, it almost gives that Punisher look. But very, very sweet. Okay, next one. Is the uh, Corvette SR2. And this was released in 2002 as well. Now this I have to keep, uh, I have to register it, but the number and everything's at the top, so it doesn't matter if we get this guy open this way. Come on, you can do it. There we go. And freedom. She is free. Oh, well, that's a cool looking car. Now that is really, really strange about this car. I don't know why they did that. I don't even know if it's supposed to be or if it's an error. But they painted the steering wheel brown. No idea why. But it's painted brown. But cool blue color on here. Pipe on the side. Plastic base. Very hot wheels up. But very cool looking casting though. What intrigued me was the spoiler in the back. Did like that. But as you can see, it doesn't look anything like the other raised Corvette like this. The front headlights popping up, almost egg shape. You got the side, uh, you have the air intakes on the side. I mean, that, that's really, really cool. Cool looking casting. Okay, let's move on. Uh, let's move on to the, over this side first here. We'll get into... The 63 Plymouth Belvedere. We need the trusty scissors because I do need the writing while I and enter this in the computer. So we will cut this. This is from the Garage Series, by the way, guys. From, oh, wow, check that out. Wow, okay. Uh, 
as you can see, the card's upside down, everybody. Okay, it's punched at the bottom. Okay, this is the way the card's actually supposed to be. And the car is here. That, that's really, really weird. The front of the card is proper. The back of the card is upside down. Very strange. Anyway, doesn't matter. Error or not, this guy's got to go in the collection. I'm opening it. Still kind of funky, though, but anyway. Don't want to touch the car. You got to be very careful when you're using scissors to open the blisters, guys. You don't want to touch the car. Okay, that's enough. It's missing, it's missing. There we go. Let's get this guy out. And here she is. What a beautiful red, guys. What a beautiful red on this car. That is really, really cool. Red wheels. Look at that. Metal base, solid metal base. I mean, that, that's, that is pretty, that is pretty nice. Very, very clean. Yeah, that's blood red, this one. Wow, that's an insane color, honestly. Okay, Volkswagen time. Got to get through these. 65 Volkswagen Fastback from Phil's Garage. And this is a 20, 2009 release, so probably 2010. This one should be easier to cut it out. Actually, I don't know why I'm cutting this one out, to be honest with you, because uh, I won't keep the car to this. Phil's Garage, I don't usually keep these. Uh, that's sweet, honestly. This one is sweet. Wow. Beautiful, beautiful black on this car. That is awesome. All blacked out. Very, very subtle stripes. Blue tinted windows. Solid metal base. Look at those real riders. Really, really sweet. And... Of course, she opens. Will she stay open? No, she won't stay open though. But she opens. You can see all the inside roll cage, engine detail. Now that is sweet. And the engine and everything is all metal. So it's very cool as well. And there's the model, guys. That is gorgeous. Beautiful, beautiful Volkswagen, this one. I actually think this one's even better than the uh, Moon Eyes one that I have. So sleek. Very sweet. Moving on. We are hitting the Boulevard set. The old Boulevard series, guys. From 2011, which is also 2012. Like I said, big, big year. 2012 in premium. Huge, huge year. What a what a year I picked to, to sleep. I'm telling you. Because now we're paying a lot more for these than we could have done back in 2012. Wow, that's sweet. Beautiful, beautiful orange. Eh, we got a bit of flea bites already in the uh, stripe. But as you guys know, I'm not really that picky. Love this casting. Just great. Look at that. Metal on metal again. Big old real riders. Red lined. That is nice. Excellent, excellent version. And slowly closing that gap of the Boulevard set. And believe me, guys, there are tons and tons of cars from the Boulevards. But that is sweet. Really, really sweet. Next one. Another Boulevard. 
is the 70 Ford Torino in matte blue. Very, very nice. Very, very nice. There she is. Looks like a rivet. It's coming through the trunk. Now that's a bit of a down. That is a bit of a down. Very, very sweet though. Look at those mags. Beautiful, beautiful mags. We'll let that one spin. That is a gorgeous, gorgeous car, guys. <laughs> Love that color. Love the, the stance of it. I mean... The only thing is I rivet coming through the trunk there, but you don't really see it when it's sitting in the case, I guess. But look how sweet that is, really. And, of course, it is a metal base, like all these boulevards. And we got to move on. we got to move on. Drag strip demons, everybody. Here we are. 63 Nova, AWB Snake Eyes. Love Hunting these guys down because they're hard. The drag strip demons, the original series, are hard. They're hard to find. And look at this guy. Isn't that cool looking? The color combination on this is amazing. Black, red. Just, oh, this thing looks nice. Honestly, that one looks really nice. And of course, she's sitting on metal on metal. Real Riders as well. I mean, that's sweet. Another Drag Strip Demons. The 65 Dodge Cornet AWB. Stack deck. Also another one, as I said, I've been hunting down. And this is another series that I'm slowly starting to close up. I'm missing just a few cars. And uh, don't forget, there's, uh, what is it, 60, 60 cars in this set? 50, 59 or 60 cars in this set. Uh, because it is two sets of the Drag Strip Demons. Look at this green. That is sweet. That is really, really awesome. If anybody's thinking about collecting the drag strip demons... It's a long process, guys. Unless you buy a whole complete set altogether, which I haven't been able to find. So I'm doing them one by one. Now, you know what, guys? It's going to be a very long video. So I think I'm going to split it up. I did get an RLC in the mail yesterday. So I think we'll open the RLC with the main lines in another video. And I'll just do the premiums today because it'll be a bit too long if we start going through everything, I think. We'll see how it goes after I get this guy's out here, but I believe it'll be a little bit too long, this video. Very cool Corvette, guys. Do love this one. Love the old 80s vet. Not a, not a huge fan. I like to buy a Corvette. This Corvette actually in uh, real life, maybe not, but I mean, it's just, it's, it's still got a cool looking look to it. And to find it in red is very cool. This wheel looks a little wonky though, but okay, there we are. 
metal base. Look at that solid metal base. I mean, it's a cool looking car, but I think this is probably one of the worst vets that they made. Because I think they cheaped out on the interior, if I'm not correct. If I'm if I remember correctly, I think they cheaped out on the interior of this one in real life. And it's too bad because the body style is amazing on this car. Had a great body style. But that looks awesome in red. Two-tone red like this looks awesome. That is pretty, actually. That is pretty. Okay. Last but not least, we've got two more premium here. And one of them is this ugly Viper that I collect. I'm sure a lot of you guys are saying, why would you collect that Viper? But you know, the Viper is just cool. And you got to remember that. They only just corrected the Viper now in 2023. Before that, it was all this. So, if you like the Viper, yeah, you had to get these castings. I mean, and goofy looking maybe, but they still come out with some really cool versions of this. And check out this color combination, this blue. What a beautiful, beautiful blue on this. White stripes, we got headlight detail, rear detail, real riders, plastic base. I mean, still looks cool. Not pretty, not not correct. Just looks cool. But a lot of rubber. Could use a bit bigger mags on this. Okay, now. We've got a special one. Well, special. I mean, uh, for for you older Hot Wheels collectors out there, this one here is pretty interesting. It is a very classic Hot Wheels car, the Diora. This is the Diora 2. Um, as I said, I'm a little bit worried about this one too because it does have rubber bands holding the surfboards. And I hope it didn't do anything to this paint because this is one seriously special paint. I don't have any car in my collection, I believe, with this paint. This is like a chrome yellow. And it looks amazing. Let's get her open. As I said, it is 9,094 of 10,000. Was released in 2001. And yeah, let's crack her open. Uh, yeah, I want to keep that package. Hold on, guys. Wow, that is just insane. What a color on this car. Look at this car. I mean, that is a seriously, seriously crazy color. Chrome yellow, guys. Let's take off this band. Yeah, uh, you see it just falls apart. That's not a good thing. I oh, hope it doesn't stick to the paint. Really, really suck if it did. Yeah, it might, it might actually stick to the surfboards, which is another problem. It is falling off, but I see a couple of places it looks like it's going to be a problem. Like right there on the black. Definitely looks like it's going to be a problem here. Like I did with the vet. Yeah, that's burnt in shit. Yeah, well that might come off. Wow, okay. It's like gum, you know, that's how bad it is now. It's so old. They're like gum. Which is a bit of a shame. It came off the surfboards not bad. It looks like it's going to have to be a bit polished up, as you can see. I don't know if you can see it. There you are. 
But wow, this is special. Honestly, even with those, even with the marks, if I play with it enough, I should be able to get it off. But this is special, guys. Look at this truck. That is an awesome, awesome looking Diora too. What a crazy color on this thing. Yellow line tires. These surfboards, exact same color. I mean, that's just amazing. Really, really well done. And that front end is crazy. Okay. Uh, should we whip through the main lines, guys? Ah, what the hell? Let's go. Let's do it. Let's whip through these main lines fast, fast. We have 2010 release of the 92 Ford Mustang Fox body in blue. And this also is a casting I collect. And I didn't have this blue version. Surprise, because I had the whole collection of 2010 I bought. I went out and bought every car. And I'm surprised that I missed this one. Awesome looking in blue. Really, really awesome looking in the blue. Next, got this loose, bought this loose Nissan Skyline. Another casting I collect. And thought I had all of them, but obviously I don't. Missing this guy. Real cool looking. Rembro breaks, uh, um, symbol, sorry. Lost my words there. That is pretty sweet looking. Love this color on it. And we got the matte black hood. Very cool. Okay, next. We have Honda Civic EF from uh, 2012, isn't it? 2013, so 2014 release. And I believe this is a, a, a hobby uh, exclusive as well. I'm not sure. Somebody can let me know in the comments which uh, which version this is, because this I did not see in mainlines, guys. So it must have be it must be a U.S. Uh, exclusive uh, somewhere. But very cool. Very very cool. There's the top. Gray interior, red wheels. Very, very nice. Awesome looking car. Uh, next two are also exclusives. And these are uh, Dollar General exclusives, I believe. I believe. And this is also, this is a new one from 20, yeah, 2022. Love the paint scheme on this one. Orange interior. And the, the color of this car is just really super cool. Really, really super cool. And another Dollar General, I believe, exclusive of the Porsche. Sweet, 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 sweet. Love this casting. Just a beautiful, beautiful casting. And a couple of more guys to look at. And we're done. Move him off. And 4th of July. Happy 4th of July. 81 Camaro in white. This casting I really love. I think they did an awesome job on it. Always thought they did an awesome job on it. Love the hood on this. Just, just a beautiful, beautiful casting. Honestly. And this one looks really cool. Great, great colors. Super, super sweet. Then we have from the late age Camaro, 
to the early age, well, earlier age, 73, Pontiac Firebird, Black Walls, and this one is pretty sweet as well. Love anything Black Walls, Red Lines, I just love these old classic cars, guys. And this one is pretty nice. This is a great color as well. Firebird on the hood looks awesome. Just a good looking car. And we've got two more cars to look at. First is this guy we're going to open up here. I'm not interested in this one. Sorry, guys, if any of you are, but uh, I'm just not interested in that one. It's this guy here I'm interested in. And this is called Get in the Zone from AutoZone. It is 20, 2002 release. And I just love adding 67 Camaros to the collection that I don't have. And that one is just sweet. I love these colors. Love the AutoZone colors on this. Just amazing. Does have the opening hood feature, which is another thing I loved on this car. And it is the metal on metal version. But this is sweet. Really, really well done. And we have the get in the zone on the roof. That is a pretty cool looking car. Okay, the last car I want to show you guys is this old red line. This I want to open up as well because it's got to go in the collection. And for a lot of you guys that don't know red lines, this is a, it's a cool car to look at. As I said, there were three versions of this. We had, uh, as you can see, there, this is a bit old. It's scratched up and everything, but Finding red lines in mint condition is very hard to do. So whatever red lines you do find, it's always great. It's always good to grab them if you're going to collect me uh, red lines. Now this one's definitely not in the best condition in the world, obviously, but it's in pretty good condition for its age. And there you have it, everybody. We've just whipped through a ton of cars. All right. So as you can see, my two meets last night and this morning, I did pretty good. So in the comments, guys, let me know what you think. And I uh, hope everybody's doing well. And be safe. Be well. Happy hunting, everybody. Ciao.